Thank you, Mike, and thank you for chairing the foundation of the Oklahoma City Memorial and all that you do for Oklahoma City. We appreciate you. It's a great honor to be here today to remember our Oklahoma families, to not forget the tremendous loss that occurred upon this site, but to also remember, remember the tremendous hope, the inspiration that we saw come from Oklahoma City and the state of Oklahoma. Dr. Carson, Secretary Carson, we are so glad to have you in Oklahoma City. I had the opportunity to spend some time with the Secretary this summer, and we are so blessed to have a man of great faith and character and integrity that is serving in our United States government. Doctor, welcome to Oklahoma. <clears throat> 22 years ago, in a moment of time, the state of Oklahoma was changed. Then, just as this morning, I had the opportunity, along with a thousand other fellow Oklahomans, to be at the Cox Convention Center for our day of prayer. And then, just as today, on a Wednesday, right after Easter, little did we know how much we would need to have prayer, to read scripture, to hear from speakers about the incredible things that God does in our lives and will do in our lives. We left that morning having no idea how much we would need to lean into our faith, how much would be stolen from us that day. And death broke our hearts that day, but the one thing that death could not take from us was the memory of the outpouring of love and compassion that we saw in our state and in our nation. 902 and, and the event that happened here was unimaginable. It was shocking. We couldn't believe that something like this could happen to our people in our state and in our nation. And yes, we did lose 168 lives and 19 children that fateful day. But we are here today to remember. Remember the hope the healing, the inspiration, the generosity, the love, the compassion of our people and to tell the families that we have not forgotten and we will never forget the suffering, the grief, not only of the families, but those who lost so many and those who were injured. And we know that there are people here today that still feel that loss just like it happened yesterday. But we want them to know that we remember and we will never forget and we will always stand with them. But the other thing that we saw come out of our tragedy in Oklahoma was what became known as the Oklahoma Standard. People helping people, people going above and beyond, people doing what needed to be done for the days, the weeks, the months, and even the years that followed after our attack. We showed to the rest of the nation what hope and inspiration, what kindness, compassion, generosity looks like. And today, more than ever, I think we need to be reminded of those things. Yes, we grieved together. We prayed together. We rebuilt together. And we healed together in our state. We saw so much happen at this site, whether it was the first responders who were here immediately to the charities that gave so generously and volunteered their time, to our faith leaders and how they led us through such a, a very challenging time in our nation and how so many lent a hand to help us on this site. And I saw it particularly here 22 years ago. I can still remember a couple of instances where it went out on the news stations that the rescue workers didn't have enough still toed boots to be able to, to go through the rubble and to be able to continue their rescue efforts, and a man off the street drove up just right on the side of these roads and took his boots off from work and gave it to the rescue workers and said, here, you need these more than I need it. I can still remember children across our schools in our state that collected pennies to help rebuild the daycare and to help us with the different services that we needed in our state. From the young to the old, we saw Oklahomans respond. It was certainly a very dark hour in our state's history, but it was also 
a moment of light for our nation, to see the spirit of resilience, to see the compassion, the generosity, the never give up spirit that Oklahomans demonstrated. And yes, our faith was tested, but we also know that we can always count on God to help us through these challenging times. And we also know that we can count on the spirit of Oklahoma. And that's what we saw in the Oklahoma Standard. And today, the Oklahoma Standard is just as strong as it was 22 years ago on April 19th. But we must not let our fellow Oklahomans and our nation forget what that Oklahoma Standard stands for, all the things that I just mentioned. And we also must continue to remind our children so they can share that strength, compassion, hope, love, the Oklahoma Standard with future generations of children to come. God bless you and thank you for joining us here today as we continue to remember those that lost so much.